Hello, my name is Heidi and this is my crochet and knitting related podcast. Welcome. Uh, it's been a while mm, since I have been, uh, since I have recorded an English episode. I have been concentrating on, on Finnish uh, podcasts, but now I am on a summer holiday and I thought that now would be a good time to make a recap of the things that I have done during the past six months. Mm. And I ap apologize if, if there is few viewers that are, have been missing my English episodes, but uh, making uh, two episodes in English and in Finnish it's very time com consuming, all the preparations and the filming and the editing and all the things related to it. And uh, in the beginning of the year, I was a little bit overwhelmed of the work that went to making these episodes. So I just concentrated on the Finnish episodes. But here, here I am, here, here am I now, I am here. Here am I now, and I am going through the stuff that I have created after December 21. So it's, it has been over seven months since my last episode. But um, mm, I have a few crochet items to show you and of course some knitting, because I was hit a knit, knit mania uh, in the spring 21 and I have been knitting a lot. And uh, I will start, start about the crochet first, because uh, those are new projects, because I haven't been crocheting for five months. Uh, la the last time I crocheted was in December and then I had five months break with crochet and in the beginning of June I just hit crochet mania again. So I will show you those crochet works first and then we will continue with the knitting and there is a lot of knitting. Uh, I will I will make a timestamps to this video so you can jump uh, to the section that you find most in interesting. Okay, but let's talk about crochet. So my crochet mo mojo was lost during the spring, but it suddenly hit me in beginning of June that I wanted to make small squares. So I have been make I have been making squares, a lot of squares. Uh, these are almost finished, but <laughs> not quite. This is a star pillow that I am making. So this requires uh, solid squares and two color squares. And I have two of these already. And then I have these solid squares so that I can, you know, make it bigger. And this will be a pillow. So I have been making lot and lots of squares. And the other square project is also a star pillow but different colors and different design. So here is my another star pillow with pink and blue and also two of these and now I am making solid pink squares so that I can make the square, this pillow square bigger. 
the yarn is Strops Muscat, my favorite, if you remember. <laughs> I have it a lot, but now the problem is that I have used all my stash yarn and I have to go to buy more the white and the pink. But this has been a uh, nice summer project to make a square. You just need five minutes to, to make one square. So it's really fast and you ac accomplish fast. You know what I mean. So I have two square Mm, sorry, star pillows work in progress. And then I have an old, old, old project that I am uh, bringing back to life. Mm, I have made African flowers 10 years ago. I think I have 16 or 18 of these. And now I want to join them and make a pillow. Isn't it nice? Really, really nice. I am thinking to join these with black, black color. Uh, I don't remember why I stopped making these. Whatever the reason is or was, but now they will become a pillow to our kitchen sofa, as are these star star pillows also. So that is my whip also. Uh, then I have two more whips. <laughs> um, I, I don't know what happened. Or a mm, while back I didn't have any crochet project and now I have five whips. Well, when the crochet mania hits, then it's, you know, you must uh, do as much as you can. Okay, then I have this uh, table runner that I am making. Uh, about the yarn. Uh, this is a uh, kaupunki lanka. No, this is not amuri. No, sorry, wrong one. This is viinikka, kaupunki lanka. I was contacted by kaupunki lanka, city yarns, uh, in the beginning of the summer, and they asked if I wanted to create something with their with their macrame yarns. And I was sent some of the yarns. And from this Vienikka yarn, I am creating this table runner. Uh, the pattern is uh, Eternal Hearts. And as usual, I will put all the links to the projects below in the description box. So it Eternal Hearts blanket design, but I modified the pattern so that I can make a table runner to our kitchen table. And I love it. This is so this is so ad addictive to crochet and you can see those hearts. This has been really fun fun project. And I am almost in the halfway of this table runner, I think. Yeah, perhaps halfway. But this has been a joy to crochet this. Um, do I have the crochet hook with me? This was four millimeter crochet hook, I think. But now I cannot find it. Yeah. But kaupunkilanka, viinikka, mm, yarn, 80% of 
cotton and 20% of polyester. Fin uh, uh, they are located in Tampere in my hometown. And Viinikka is, a, how do you say it, kaupungin osa, part of a city. Yeah. Okay. And uh, the fifth project that I have been working is a bag from the Kaupunki Lanka Yarns also. But this is Amuri. This is much thicker yarn. And I'm making a bag out of it. And here is the <laughs> current situation. And I am using this letter pace for the bag. I got the idea from Hoppy. The web page, they have free patterns on their website. And I found this bag pattern from their website. And this is based ghost stitch. Really nice texture. And I am hoping to make this, you know, like a big, mm, really big and large bag so that I can carry my yarns and my water bottle and all the necessary things with me. But I'm a little bit skeptical, skeptical about this. Uh, will it be the way I think about it in my head? We, we will see, we will see, but this is very, very nice yarn to work with. This is very soft and flexible yarn. Some of these macrame yarns are so stiff and hard that it uh, strains too much my arms, but this is, this is really nice. No. This, this yarn is not affecting my arms or hands. Yeah, but there's back, back on, is, on its way. So these are my current uh, crochet projects that I have been working since beginning of June. Quite many, but uh, I'm not in a hurry with them. I make those as I, when I want to, when I feel, feel like it. And uh, they will be ready someday. There is no timetable for those. And now we could jump to the knitting part. Mm. So I have been knitting a lot. A severe knit mania hit me in uh, March, April 21. And in the episodes last year, you, you have heard about this. <laughs> so, but here's an update what I have been doing during this year. But uh, in the spring, this spring, I celebrated my one year in knit mania and I made this uh, short video of my makes during the first year from April 21 to April 22. So I will add that part to this video. So from that um, Part, you can uh, see what I have done during this my first year of knit mania. And there is few few projects that I will talk to you more after that little part of the next video. <laughs> so let's see that and come back here.
uh, that is what I accomplished during my first year of Gnitmania. And uh, mm, there is few patterns or few projects that I want to mention more detailed because mm, in the be beginning of the year I decided to challenge myself because uh, I have lots and lots of yarn in my home, in my stash, too much. And, and I wanted to use those stash yarns instead of buying new yarn all the time. So I challenged myself to pick nine yarns from my stash and use those yarns during this year. And now I will show you the patterns or the project that I have made from my challenge yarns. Uh, yeah, nine yarns, nine projects. I have finished now five projects and one is work in progress and I have three yarns that I have not used yet. So very good progress and it's July. So I have, you know, all five months to finish four projects. Uh, in the beginning of the year, I was a little bit skeptical that can I really make nine garments or accessories during the year. But maybe it's doable. Let's see. Okay, the first first yarns that I took uh, in use in January was this Vera shawl. Uh, this Vera shawl is from book called Urban Knit. Designer is Leni Hoimela, Finnish designer. And, uh, and she's now making her second book. These are really, really great patterns. So this Vera shawl is in this book. And now I don't have the labels of the yarn that I used, but we can manage. So uh, the yarn that I used for this shawl uh, is Finnish Indidaya yarn, Ara yarn. And I bought these yarns last autumn, but I wanted to use those as soon as possible, so I chose them to be in my challenge. And I really, really love this shawl. The yarn is, I, I think it, this is merino silk yarn. But you can find the Ravelry project from the description below, and you can find the details of this yarn from there. But this was my first challenge project from my stash yarn. Really loving this. This is really soft and uh, yeah, really soft and squishy shawl. Really loving it. So this was my first project from my challenge yarns. And then I could show you, I have one a whip, but let's talk about that the last. Uh, okay, this one uh, is my second finished object from the stash yarn. 
from the challenge Stasian. And this is Anker's Sweater My Size Petit Technics design. And the yarn is Baby Merino Silk Deco. So it's Merino and Silk Blend yarn. Really loving this sweater. I really like this joke. Yoke, not joke. <laughs> Yoke. And uh, uh, in the in last summer I made this uh, Anker's t-shirt, so I fell in love with the joke already then, and I realized that this Roban baby merino silk deco DK uh, is a perfect with fit for the Anker's sweaters my size pattern. So this was my second finished object from the challenge yarns. And uh, my third finished object is this beauty. Mm, I love it. Mm, this is Lapis. Lapis pullover. This wasn't was not included in the uh, previous video about my finished objects in my first year of Quickmania because this was uh, I finished this after I had made those video clips. But this is lapis pullover. I really love this. Uh, this yarn over here it was the challenge stas, stas yarn. Uh, this is Titus Param Eve yarn. Sorry, cannot remember the yarn quality, but I think this was alpaca merino blend. But you can find the details from the Ravelry project. And this uh, colorful yarn over here is also stash yarn, but it was not included in my selection. But it's also stash yarn. Uh, it's a uh, beehive yarns that I bought from Yarndale 2018, perhaps. And I really, really love this. Oh, it's so beautiful. And uh, yeah, I have been wearing it a lot during this summer. And if you have any questions, uh, please leave a comment down below. So I'm, I'm happy to answer if you have any questions about any of these projects or yarns or designs. So that's, that was my uh, third finished object. Then my fourth finished object from the Stars Yarn Challenge. Just a minute. So I, I bought this Drop Speak Merino. Uh, I think it was in the spring 21 for one project that I wanted to make but it never happened and I chose this this yarn to be my challenge yarn and in the beginning of July a few weeks ago I finished this from that yarn. Uh, this is a drops pattern grace field top. Really fast to knit because the yarn is quite thick. I made this with five millimeter hook 
this yarn is 100% of wool. Super fast, super wash treated extra fine merino wool. Yeah. Recommended hook size is 5 millimeter hook and this is 50 gram pole 75 meters but I made this in in one week so really nice there is this uh, what do you call this I don't know <laughs> and I really like this shaping over here it looks very nice Very easy and straightforward top pattern. Really like it. And it took only five holes of this yarn to make this. Okay, that was my fourth finished object. Then mm, my last fifth finished object of these challenge yarns is Lento sweater and it's here. Lento is uh, designed by Jonna Hietala from Lainen magazine, magazine and it's very popular pattern. And uh, for this pattern uh, I bought the first time this year new yarn it was May because I started this in May I bought the mohair for this sweater uh, just a minute the mohair is from our local uh, Dyer Nuria this is yeah, mohair. 72% uh, of kit mohair, 28% of silk. 50 grams and 420 meters. And the colorway is African star. And now I don't have the leftover yarns with me, but it's quite grayish, this mohair. You know, it's like this. This is the mohair and the other yarn that I am using is of course challenge uh, stash yarn. Uh, it's truly hooked, a standard sock yarn, 75% of super wash merino and 25% of nylon that I have bought from the Yarndale, uh, from Yarndale I think it was year 18 that we first, was the first time that we visited in Yarndale. So uh, it's really this uh, dark grey to light grey yarn. And I think it look, looks quite nice together over here. What do you think? And <laughs> so this is not, this is almost finished object. I have only the other sleeve that I have to find off, but otherwise it's finished. Uh, and I make, uh, I made a size one, but a uh, little bit modifications. I didn't make decreases at all in the sleeves, only in before the cuff. I made decreases because it was quite stiff the sleeve at the first attempt. Then I frocked it and made again, uh, studied it again and didn't make any decreases. But I think this is really nice. What do you think? Lento sweater. Uh, it's it's grey, I know. 
uh, my favorite color is pink, but for some reason I have I have bought Grace yarn. So, but I think this is uh, so light gray that I can wear it. Yeah. So this is my fifth finished object. Uh, really e one more thing really easy and fast project it's done with six millimeter needles and it's not you know really uh, there is no big holes although it's done with six millimeter hook uh, no hook needles sorry Okay, and the one that I am, uh, that is whip, uh, I started this in, um, during spring, uh, end, how do you say it, end of winter, something like that. These are wooly pants, wooly, wooly pants, you know. Oh no, oh no, I don't know if you can see anything, but uh, I like to jog and I want to do that all, all around here and last winter was very cold here in Finland and my thighs and my butt was freezing when I was jogging and I got really inspired about making wooly pants for myself, sorry. This is, okay, I have, <laughs> I have obviously needed the needles for something else, so I have these extra cables here, but these are wooly pants. Drops pattern, why not pants? Let me see if I can find a picture for you to see. And I'm making a longer, longer pants so that these really warm my thighs when I am choking. And the yarn is Finnish Dyer Louhittaren Luora, Luola Knitlops Liar. Knitlops Liar. And this is 75% superwash wool 25% of nylon 400 meters in 100 grams Colorway queen kuningatar Väinämöinen Really loving these and these uh, I remember it was joy to make these but then I decided uh, to concentrate on other projects because I know that I'd, I won't be needing these during summer so I decided to to move to other projects and I am planning to complete this in the beginning of this autumn so that this will be ready when the winter hits here in Finland okay this is the sixth project then I have three yarns that I need a project. I will show you those. These three yarns are the rest of my challenge. Knit from your stash challenge. First, uh, I have these four squains of Pitches and Butches Le Petit Lamps Wool. Very strange color choice for me, but we will see. Uh, the colorway is green, pink, turquoise. And this is 50 grams, 248 meters. 
and uh, pure lamb's wool from Scotland. Yes. So four skeins of these skeins, and I bought these from Garentaito uh, Messut, the biggest uh, craft fair in Finland. It was last November that I bought this and decided to take these also in this uh, stash challenge because I didn't want them to, you know, lay in my stash for the next five years. Uh, then I have this knit by numbers, double knit yarn. I think I have four, um, five skeins of this. A 100 percent pure Falklands merino wool made in the UK. 100 grams, 250 meters. Uh, and I started last autumn, I started to make water lilies sweater from Linen magazine. Cannot remember the number of the magazine, but I hit some problems. And I just lost my interest for that sweater. So I haven't touched, <laughs> touched that sweater since. And that's why I wanted to include this yarn to my stash challenge. And I'm, I'm wondering Shall I continue the water lilies sweater or shall I frock it all the way and do something else? But it remains to be seen. And the last yarn that I have here in my challenge, Stas challenge yarns is also uh, Lohitaren Luola. Knitlops Lair. This is Ilmatar and it's 50% of wool and 50% of silk. 50 gram and 275 meters. Color wave Arju and Hopea. Silver and Arju is mm, really hot pink. So I have bought these many years ago, cannot remember anymore. And I remember that, that I started to make Vera Välimäki pop, pop uh, shawl or scarf, but I frocked it. And now these yarns are here in my ch challenge so that I could create something of these. And I, I'm pretty sure it, it will be a sore shawl. I just love this pink. It's really, really pink. Really nice color. But yes. Mm. So these yarns are the left, the left uh, that are left in my make nine from your stash yarn. <laughs> challenge and um, I'm just waiting ideas to come and you know to get the inspiration to start something out of this but before I I will start anything from this I will start a new project from New Yarn. Just a minute. Uh, I decided to reward myself uh, because I have been managing so well with this challenge. So I rewarded myself at the Jyväskylä Knit Festival that was held beginning of July in Jyväskylä, that I bought some new yarn for specific projects. And 
I'm thinking about starting now that the lento is finished tonight. I am about to start a t-shirt of this yarn. So I bought this, I bought yarns for three projects. And this is the first one, Karma, Lanka Studio, Yarn Studio, Karma Yarn Studio, a local yarn dyer. Uh, yeah, <laughs> three skeins of this. Uh, this is Helikki, Helikki Tweed Yarn, 85% of Blue Faced Laster Wool and 15% of Donegal Nip. Hand dyed in Tampere in my hometown and uh, yeah uh, so I'm I am mm, thinking of perhaps today that I will start a new project t-shirt of this yarn and it will be um, you know little project before I will continue with my make nine your nine from your stash yarn challenge so this is the first project and then i have oh no what happened to the light oh no the sun is almost shining in so my my light situation is going to be interesting but i'm almost done so I bought this uh, Biobalance, Pesekan Biobalance yarn for uh, army sweater that is designed by Maria Kostomovara, who also lives here in Tampere. So this will be someday army sweater. I really love this color. And the last purchases that I made in the Knitfest is Ara Yarn Mohair. This is called Hieno. 72% of Kit Mohair and 28% of Silk. 50 grams, 420 meters. The colorway is lavendery, Lavender. Lavender. And this I will combine with my Make Nine Your From Your Stash Yarn Challenge Yarn, the Titus, Param Eve Titus, that I have still lots and lots. And I will combine these two and make Anna Johannas Vaga uh, jacket. Yes, I think this will be really awesome. Oh, my nail polish fits quite well with this. <laughs> yeah. So these were my purchases from the Knitfest. And I try not to buy any more yarn this year, but I cannot promise. And I, and of course, I can buy if I want to, but I, I really want to make those project, projects from those um, dedicated uh, stash yarns. But of course, a person needs some you know, motivation, <laughs> motivation. So, yeah, but I try not to, but if I buy yarn, the one condition must, there, were, there must be one condition, and that is that I have a project for it. Because in the past years, I have bought yarn. Oh, this is nice, this is nice, this is nice. And they are laying in my stash at the moment, 
because I don't have any idea what to do with those. So I want to buy yarn for specific projects. And these three yarns have now specific projects that I will make. And I try to avoid, oh, what a nice skein I buy it. Because it only leads to problems and uh, too much yarn in my stash. Yeah. Okay. Do I have anything else to say? Perhaps not. Uh, this was perhaps a little fast. Uh, fast going through of the things that I have done during the past seven months. But I hope you like it. And I please leave a comment and press thumbs up so that I know that you watched this. And and of course, if if I see that people are watching these English videos, English episodes by commenting or pressing thumbs up or the views go higher, of course it motivates me to to make more of these English episodes. So that I know that there is something, somebody watching this. <laughs> you know what I mean. So please leave a comment and thumbs up. And of course subscribe if you haven't already. And I am thinking that uh, maybe I can make these English episodes not... Uh, I, I, I am not going to make any promises, but uh, perhaps I'm not going to make these as uh, often as the Finnish episodes, but perhaps once in a month or every six weeks or something like that. And of course I will um, include the project that I have been doing between that time period. But yes, leave a comment if you have anything to say or anything to comment to this episode. And uh, I hope to see you soon. Yeah, now I will, I will stop talking <laughs> and see you next time. Bye bye.